there's been a bit of a kerfuffle on the internet recently about the revelation that Michael Bay is perhaps not the most original director currently working in Hollywood. Now, for many of us, this will come as no surprise, but there are some who have been watching Michael Bay's movies very closely. Strange thing for anyone to do. And they have noticed that in Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon, there are shots that are actually lifted from Michael Bay's earlier film, The Island. Not copied, lifted. Yes, Michael Bay is going back through his own litter and putting that trash up on screen once again and passing it off as new. And some people have said, oh, you know, this is terrible. This is, this is unauthorized recycling. But you know what? The history of cinema is littered with people taking, plagiarizing, recycling, using bits from other movies time and time again. It's happened in some very, very fine movies indeed. For example, Blade Runner, one of my favorite movies. I'm assuming you all know how the plot of Blade Runner pans out. In the original version, our heroes escape from the urban squalor of the, of the modern city and out into the open air. Well, that shot of them going out into the beautiful countryside is in fact, as I'm sure you know, an outtake from The Shining. In fact, Ridley Scott himself once told me that if they held that shot much longer, you would have been able to see the car carrying Jack Nicholson edging its way in from the bottom of the frame. Roger Corman, one of my favorite producers and filmmakers, was always recycling his old footage. If you had a scene in the strip club, you could use it once, you could use it several times. He once said that he had taken a trailer for a film which wasn't very exciting, stuck an exploding helicopter in the trailer, because you can always have an exploding helicopter in the trailer, and then put it into the movie by way of a dream sequence. And of course, Corman was the man behind Target, which uses footage and indeed cast from the terror in order to make an entirely new and actually very, very valid film. And it's not just visual stuff. It happens with sound effects as well. There is a very famous sound effect called the Wilhelm scream, which comes from an old movie, Distant Drums. It's the sound of somebody screaming in a particularly effective way. It ended up in the Warner Brothers sound archive and started being used time and again by filmmakers who needed a particular sound. Famously, George Lucas used it when he made Star Wars. And suddenly cineasts started saying, oh, this is an interesting idea. It's a, it's a famous sound. It's been used by George Lucas. Let's use it time and time again. Now it turns up in every single movie. And of course, Steven Spielberg, very famously, at the end of Jewel, when the truck lurches its way off the side of a cliff, the sound you hear is the recycled sound of Godzilla. been sampled from the Godzilla movie which Steven Spielberg loved so much and overplayed over that image. It's Steven Spielberg stealing somebody else's sound effect. And of course Woody Allen, one of my favorite directors, made an entire movie from recycled footage. He basically took What's Up Tiger Lily from an existing film and redubbed it. So what I want to know is this, what's the strangest, oddest, most bizarre, most unlikely example you can think of of somebody taking footage from one place and sticking it in another movie? And perhaps more importantly, when is it artistically valid and when is it all just a little bit Michael Bay? Let me know.